Meanwhile, we're talking here, I have received, and I don't know if it happened to you, the current situation in the United States mm -hmm. and what's going on at the, at, the, at the Congress, at the Congress building. The Congress, yeah. At, the, at, at this moment, we're talking, some Trump supporters got into the Congress building, something, something inimaginable for the United States. I know that John refers to Trump as the 40, uh, 45th. He doesn't mention his name, but <laughs> I would like some some uh, of your, your your opinion of this. Uh, Roberto, you had a question about the United States. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. One, uh, uh, if I may, one or two sure. sentences. I think you can read the past four years of number 45's presidency uh, almost as a textbook um, story of how you build a despotism. Um, mm -hmm. You know, his assault on the federal bureaucracy, his dismantling of integrity units, uh, wherever he could in matters, say, of environmental protection, the systematic attack on independent journalism, I don't know if you listened in to the one hour um, telephone call uh, to the Attorney General of Georgia. It's not often that despots are revealed at length. But at one point he says, uh, when the Attorney General or his assistant says, you know, but social media is, is um, you know, is not in agreement with you. Social media, he says, I am only interested in Trump media. Uh, we all know that you're biased, you know, big, big tech is against me. This is despotic thinking. Uh, his constant references to the people, his manipulation of um, elections, his refusal to leave office. Um, he gave a speech in the last uh, 12 hours. Uh, effectively calling on uh, protesters to come and disrupt, you know, the ratification of an election. 